Up next on End of the Day Beer Review, we're going to be looking at Tomb by Alewife Brewing. Check it out. Hi everybody, it's Rich and welcome to End of the Day Beer Review. And today we're going to be looking at Tomb by Alewife Brewing. This is an Imperial Stout with an impressive ABV of 13%. Sorry, I'm struggling to read this. You'll notice the label is really dark uh, and so is the text, which makes it a little hard to read. And this is a double mashed bourbon barrel aged Imperial Stout with milk sugar, vanilla, toasted coconut, and Mighty Oak cold brewed coffee. Now, Alewife Brewing is in Sunnyside, Queens. Um, and it actually says that it is brewed and packaged by Alewife Brewing in Queens. And the side of the bottle actually says the potion maker, the curator of moods, the spiritual guides of all things alchemy, uh, from recipes of old to contemporary works. Um, and Alewife Brewing is, is actually interesting. I, I recommend you check out the website, which I'm going to put in the, uh, in the description below. They've got an interesting story. And in this case, we are going to be looking at their Imperial Stout, which is 13%. Um, let's open it up, see what we get. And you know, sometimes you get a huge aroma in the bar. I'm not getting anything so far, but we haven't poured it yet. Let's see how this pours. Oh wait, there it is. I'm getting that bourbon. Um, yeah, it's starting to fill the bar now. I just didn't give it enough time, I guess. And I'm gonna use a snifter for this. I, I like these glasses better for the uh, bourbon barrel aged stouts. Uh, it tends to bring the aroma a little bit better, uh, bring out the aroma a little bit better than the stout glasses. And you know, the last couple of days here uh, in New York where I live, it's been, you know, five, six, seven degrees. So this is definitely stout weather. Uh, I'm seeing a little head, nothing major. Um, some good lacing on the glass, which is nice. I, I mean, sort of expected. Um, you know, what carbonation on top there is, it's a, a light sort of tan color, dark tan color. Um, the beer itself is, is quite dark. Um, you know, it's, it's a jet black, not the darkest stout I've seen. I still have to give that to, uh, what was it? The Reaper by, uh, Escapism Brewing. I've never seen anything like that. Um, that was just jet black. Um, there is very, very serious aroma of bourbon now in the bar. Um, let's see what the nose is like on this. Yeah, um, a ton of bourbon on that. Uh, a certain sweetness to it also. Like there, there's a really, really, um, I, I want to say almost vanilla back end to this. I know there's supposed to be coffee in it. I'm not getting that on the nose. What I'm getting is bourbon. It smells like a sweet sort of vanilla. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to this. Uh, it doesn't look particularly thick, which was also what I was expecting. I was expecting sort of a, um, not quite syrupy, but definitely uh, thicker than it looks. Um, yeah, this, the vanilla is really sort of pronounced on the nose. So, you know, most importantly, let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Okay. This is just based on the first sip. This is incredible. Um, so what am I getting out of this? The bourbon's there. It's not as strong as it is on the nose. Um, you can definitely feel the alcohol. As soon as it hit my stomach, I felt that burn, that sort of bloom that came with it. Um, oh my God, this is really nice. There's a, a nice sweetness to it. A nice, a nice amount of vanilla on the back end. There is some coffee there, but it's muted. Uh, you know, it's funny, when Bourbon County did their coffee stout this year, I know a lot of people were displeased because the coffee wasn't so pronounced. And um, I think it was No Hype Beer Review left a comment on my, um, you know, on my review and, and said that it had to do with it being cold brewed coffee. Um, and, and I'm not a big cold brew fan, so I don't know a lot about that, but I would definitely take his, uh, his advice on that one because he, he seems to have a great palate. Um, I think that's what this is. So I'm getting the bourbon on the front end, not as heavy as I expected. After it moves through, I'm getting that vanilla, uh, just a beautiful sweetness. Um, and then right on the back end, just as it's going down, you're getting a little bit of that coffee. And it, I, I'm starting to wonder if maybe it's because it is cold brewed coffee that the coffee is not quite as pronounced. Um, 
Mm. You know, and I was wrong. It's not syrupy. There's a good mouthfeel. The carbonation is nice. It sort of causes the flavor to burst. Um, this is the first beer I've had by Alesmith. And being that it's from Sunnyside, Queens, I'm assuming that this came from uh, Fred. So, Fred, I thank you very much for this. Um, it's always nice to find these in the fridge. Now, I don't know if this is still available, but if it is, I highly recommend. If you're a, a barrel-aged stout person, my God, this is definitely one to get. Now, let's see what else the label says on this. So, milk sugar. Okay, maybe that's the sweetness that I'm getting. Um, then vanilla, toasted coconut. I'm not... I'm not getting the coconut unless that's the sweetness that I'm getting, but I think that the sweetness is probably that milk sugar, um, and I missed it. I, I didn't, uh, you know, like I, I, I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to taste like, but for me, the sweetness and the vanilla are going together, and this is just fantastic. Uh, my only regret is that I opened this alone. Not, not that I mind. I will happily finish this bottle by myself this evening. Uh, this is wonderful. Mm. I have to say, this is one of the better bourbon barrel stouts I've had. Um, and I mean that's everything. That's including Goose Island. That's, that's everything. This is really, really nice. Um, now, I've never had something by Al Smith before, but I have to tell you, I will now look for their stuff. Uh, and luckily, it's in Queens, so it's relatively close to me and even closer to Fred. So I will have him keep a, a lookout for this. Um, so again, this is Tomb by Al Smith Brewing. And I have to say, I, I highly recommend this. This is fantastic. If you can get your hands on it, I have no idea what this cost. I, I think I saw on their website that they had a five pack of bottles and this was one of the bottles for like $100. Um, I may go out and order that because I have to tell you, this is great. Um, this really is just a, a really, really nice, nice bourbon barrel stout. Um, and it's really complex, that sweetness, um, the bourbon flavor, and, and the taste lasts. It's still there on my tongue, and we're like five or six minutes into this review. Um, this is fantastic, and I am going to definitely look, I called them Ale Smith, I'm sorry. Um, I am going to definitely look for more stuff by Alewife Brewing, because this is... Just fantastic. Um, so uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we've hit 101 subscribers, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I really appreciate when people subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you've tried something by Alewife, pre please, uh, please give me a comment below. I'd love to hear any recommendations you have uh, about the beers that Alewife has put out. And I am definitely gonna be on the lookout for their products in the future. If you can get a hold of Alewife Brewing's Tomb, I cannot recommend it enough. It is fantastic. Uh, thanks so much. Love to hear comments. Please throw some down below. And I will see you all in the next episode. Cheers.